Hello, everyone. Please tell me y'all can hear me because, you know, I'm here by myself struggling. You know, got <laughs> got new kid on the block uh, problems. Please say y'all can hear me, please. Can y'all hear the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Somebody tell me something. Yes? No? Yes? Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Latanya. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Latanya. Okay, I can hear my phone. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, y'all. I am out here in the wilderness all by my lonesome. The girls done abandoned me. Listen, I'm struggling. Y'all know I'm not I, me and technology. I'm a I love gadgets, but do I know how to operate them? No, I don't know how to operate them. <laughs> I don't know how to operate them, but I buy a bunch of them. <laughs> Hello, Patrice. How you feeling, boo? <laughs> Please tell me what your sin of the day is. Um, I need to know. I need to know because I'm nosy like that tonight. We're probably not going to be real long. Well, okay, so technically, <laughs> we should be long because I have a whole slew of fragrances that I have to share with y'all. But we're going to we, mm, mm, baby steps. We're going to do baby steps. We're going to do uh, maybe 20, no more than 25. Depending on how fast it goes and, you know, if y'all interact with me. Because, you know, y'all got to talk back to me. You got to talk back to me. If you talk back to me, it'll be a whole lot more fun. So, um, you got to talk to me. You got to let me know that you're out there. You're listening to me. You're paying attention. You, and you're feeling me. You're feeling me. Okay? Because if not, we can switch it up and do something different. But, okay. I digress. What's y'all sending today? What's y'all sending today? Natalia. What you wearing today, boo? Oh, you said right now sugar leather. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. That fragrance is the fragrance to have in your collection for this summer. Now, when I was reading up on it, they were saying that it's um like for fall, winter. But quite frankly, in my opinion, I'm going to wear this year round. Like in all honesty, I'm going to wear it year round. I'm not going to just relegate it for just fall weather because it's a gorgeous fragrance. So. Yeah, she's going to be, she going to be year-round for me. Definitely going to be year-round for me. Okay. Hey, Patty. Yeah, she is definitely full bottle worthy. And, and that's one of the ones that I'm actually going to haul tonight. So, yes, we are going to talk about her. We're going to get into her. Okay. Sure, you were in Casablanca. Do you know? <laughs> I need to haul that one because I've never even hauled it to let y'all know that I even have the fragrance. That's first and foremost. Uh, but it is over there somewhere in, in the bag. <laughs> It's there. Hey, Tina. Hey, Shelly Shell. Y'all my homegirl in there, Rochelle. Y'all say hey to Rochelle. Her name's Shelly, but you know. You know. Hey, boo. Thanks for tuning in. Guidance. Okay, Patty. Okay. You pulling out the guidance, the heavy hitter. Uh, Golden Light. I have heard of that Arizona Prozenza uh, Schuler. I've heard of that. I've never smelled it um and i do have also an intense version of it too i got a, a sample of that one i think it was from uh fragrance net or something like that i got a sample of that um but i just never took the plunge to go and buy a full bottle because i okay you know the, them, those are niche girl snob problems <laughs> you know it was a snob in me that wouldn't let me buy that fragrance but the uh the intense version does smell good. I'm not even going to lie. The Arizona Provenza does smell good. Okay. We got some Jean-Paul uh, LaBelle up in there. Just got to travel. Okay, Angel. Now, is is that the regular one, the original one that has the um, pear note in it? Or are you talking about the parfum one, the heavy one? I don't have the, um, the pear one, the original one. I keep saying I'm going to buy it. And I have to buy it for my second channel because... It's going to be perfect for that channel, but I just haven't, I haven't done it yet. I do have the intense version of it and she's gorgeous. She's definitely gorgeous. Uh, let's see what we got. Yes. 
Okay, okay. So you have that. Okay. Yes, girl. That that John Paul uh LaBelle, she is nice. She is really nice. Uh Pat, I didn't hear. Now I know your your son is a little bothering you. Did you spray any fragrance on today? Let's see. Crystal is wearing Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. Girl. <laughs> I got a brand new bottle over there in that other room that <laughs> Uh, if you want another one, and you're welcome to it. I can't, I can't, I can't with that fragrance. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is beautiful, but it is very, very um, cloyingly sweet. I couldn't wear that one. I couldn't, I couldn't. It's beautiful, but yeah, she was a little bit too sweet for me. I said, nah, boo. I, that's another one that's been sitting over there for about four years. She needs a new home. She needs a she needs a new mama. A mama that's gonna love her and not treat her like you know the step you know the wicked stepchild. Cause I don't treat I don't treat velvet vanilla right at all. Because when I smelled it and I I wore it one day, but I think what happened was I wore it in the heat of the summer, girl. <laughs> that was that was before I knew better. That was before I knew better, and I was you know those those are new new to the fragrance game learning era problems that you know you do stuff and you you learn from it you learn from it so but i never went back and sprayed it after that one incident so i should probably give it another shot but i have so many other bottles that it, you know it doesn't make sense for me to hoard it so i'm like I've got to start letting some of these bottles go that I'm not wearing, like, for real, for real. Like, because this, this is crazy. Like, this is crazy. I have I have way too many fragrances I'm not wearing, and they're just sitting here. So, I'm probably, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Um, but I do know that I am going to give some to a women's shelter that's um, over in New Jersey. I know a women's shelter. So, I, I know I'm, I am going to take a few of those bottles and take them over there. It's just to bless those ladies and, you know, just to, you know, put a, a smile on someone's face. So I am going to do that. But in the meantime, uh, <laughs> I still got a whole bunch more of them that I need to do something with. But without further ado, with all this chitter chatter, bladder, bladder, listen, just say, Jessica, get on with the video. Get on with the live, girl. We want, you know what we're here for because you've been hoarding on to them fragrances now for about uh way too long let's just say that so long to the point where okay they got the cellophane on them <laughs> some of them still have the cellophane on them so i will be making Keetra proud tonight because we're gonna be taking some cellophane off some boxes tonight ladies now i'm sorry if you the type of female don't like that noise i got some i'm sorry let me just apologize up front I, i'm sorry but yeah, there's a couple of them that's got some cellophane. But okay, let's get on with it. So my fragrance of the day is something that, <laughs> again, this is a haul. Hey, y'all, this is what I got. Uh, my scent of the day kind of thing. All wrapped up in one. Just, just going to be a whole lot all wrapped up in ones today. So don't worry about it. Just, you know, just wrapped up in one. And it is Red Temptation Summer. <laughs> Who smelled this? Who smelled this? Please tell me that I'm not the only one in this lab who has smelled this fragrance first. Because, baby, this fragrance smells really pretty. Now, y'all, we're not talking about any notes tonight. And if I give you a note, it's going to probably be wrong. <laughs> it's going to probably be wrong because I'm congested. My sinuses is doing what they want to do. So, what I think I might be smelling, I could possibly not be smelling. So, we're not going to go into you no know, notes unless I know for a fact what it is. But with my allergies, the way they are acting today, um, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, see, I'm rude. I'm rude. Okay, first of all, so the only reason why there's only one angel tonight, which would be <laughs> the rogue angel, that would be me, the rogue angel, is because um, one angel is under the weather. Another angel needed a break from us. We've been stressing out that other angel out. She's like, I no, now first of all, <laughs> these are my words. She ain't said this, y'all. <laughs> she didn't say this. This just just the ad libbing. Okay, this just the ad libbing. Because you know, sometimes you know I gotta stretch the story a little bit. I ain't lying on that. You know, I'm just I'm just stretching the story a little bit. And the other angel just needed um just a little downtime. 
And I can appreciate that because we all need a little downtime, especially if you have a stressful job, you have a family that you have to take care of. And, you know, you just, you, you need a day off. And so I get that. So the other angel, she just needed a little bit of downtime. And then our other bougie angel, she out there living her best life, baby. She living her best life. And she's away on her girl's trip. Now, bless her heart. I had needed, okay, so like I started out, I am not the technology girl. I will buy all kinds of gadgets. And if y'all came to my house, y'all be like, first of all, my mama holding on this bottle like this. I don't know. Um, if y'all came to my house, y'all be like, Jessica, you got all kinds of gadgets. But do you know how to use any of this stuff? And no, but I have it. <laughs> so originally, I kept going back and forth with when I found out that it was just going to be one angel. I thought about canceling because I'm like, I've never done like a live by myself like this. And I was scared, y'all. I'm not even going to tell you no tales. I was scared. I was scared to come on here. Not I wasn't scared of y'all, but it was just the fear. You know how the enemy will put things in your mind and have you thinking things that's really not true, but have you thinking that it is true? Now I'm like, Jessica, you talk to these ladies every week twice a week what are you afraid of it was just the fear of being by myself that's really what it boiled down to the fear of being by myself and i, I didn't want to do it i didn't want to do it so <laughs> so i called cassandra right i'm like girl i know you're on your vacation i know but i'm so sorry please call me it's important just call me right so poor Sandra, she was probably like, what's going on? What's going on? How y'all wait till I go away to start acting up? What's going on? But I, like, it's not like that. I said, Cassandra, I said, um, you know, I told him, you know, my my technology struggles, right? And so, bless her heart, Cassandra gave me all the answers that I did not want to hear. <laughs> she said, oh, boo, I can make the thumbnail for you. Oh, boo, I can set that up for you. Oh, boo, that ain't no problem. I can take that, care of that for you. I said, Cassandra, <laughs> those are not the words that I wanted to hear out your mouth. <laughs> she said, oh, you wanted me to tell you to go ahead and cancel. <laughs> I said, yes, that's what I wanted you to say. She was like, oh, no, boo, you got this, you got this. So that's how I ended up in front of you ladies this evening because Cassandra, bless her heart, she did the thumbnail for me. She set everything up. And thank you, sweetie. I greatly appreciate it because um, Amber, which is our um, our real uh, technology lady, she is is had other plans tonight. She has just business to take care of. So she was not available. So Cassandra got me all situated so that y'all can um still get alive so she didn't want y'all to be disappointed either so i am very appreciative of her for doing that she took the time out on her because she was in the casino and i was like i am so sorry but um <laughs> these are my struggles so she hooked it up so okay so okay so all right so we got that we got the center of the day out of the way y'all and told me what the center of the pet Pat, you still didn't answer me, child. Did you answer me and tell me what your center of the day is? I haven't seen Nika, so uh, I guess Nika's doing what Nika need to do. Okay. All right, so moving on. We're going to get this. We're going to get this live popping. Okay, we're going to get her popping. So, like I said, my my sinuses. Oh, Talaya. Oh, yes. You. Yes, Pat. Yes, honey. Spray to layer. Okay. Get your whole spray life on. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot of Talaya because Talaya is going to project and everybody's going to know that you are in the building. So I'm glad you got her. I'm looking forward to getting Orza, her, her sister, putting her in the collection. Girl, once I get Orza, y'all ain't going to tell me nothing. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Let me tell me nothing. <laughs> Okay, so the first things first. I want to get started with to let y'all know. Ooh, Unu We No Ma. Which one? To to not on self you. Which one of the Unu We No Ma's you have? So y'all forgive me. I, okay, I'm a newbie at this, so I'm gonna try to still read the comments and keep up and answer questions and answer you know if I can. Um, but which one are you are you referring to? 
So that's that. So I know last week I mentioned um the uh what's her name? The bum 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 cream. So I'm sure by now y'all have heard about Trader Joe's having their version of the bum bum cream. If you have not, sis, this is it right here. Brazilian nut body butter. This was $5.99 at Trader Joe's. This is a spot on dupe for the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. Ladies, when I tell you this smells incredible, it smells incredible. It's the best $5.99 you're going to spend, okay? I think the bum bum was what, $45 for the, um, I don't even remember what size it is. I just know that it's expensive. It's more than $6. How about that? It's more than $6. So y'all know, so this is, this is seasonal. So it's only at um, Trader Joe's for a certain time period. And then they take it away because it's seasonal. When they take it away, now, here for at my Trader Joe's, they have a, a cap. You can only buy five at a time. But y'all know people dishonest. Not everybody's going to be honest. So, you know, you can get your five that, you know, first go roll out to your car, put them in your car, and then come back and go to another teller and get five more and then take them to the car and then come back in again. Because who's paying attention to you like that? Nobody. Nobody. So... That's how people are buying these, these bum bum creams. And then when they go out of season, they're on Mercari. And I saw one person wanted $25 for this bum bum cream last summer. $25. I'm like, you crook. You paid $6 for this and you trying to get $25 from somebody? That's so, that's like, why? Like, why? So they have... This year, they, now last year, all they had was the body cream and they had the scrub. Now, I have the scrub over there. I didn't bring the scrub to you because for me, the scrub is a little um, too dry. So, in my opinion, yes, Pat, I will. Yes. Um, in my opinion, the scrub, you need to put some water in the scrub to loosen it up because the scrub is just too dry. But it's still beautiful. It smells amazing. It smells just like the body scrub from Bum Bum. It's just a little too dry. So in my opinion, I put a little bit of water in my jar, stirred it up, and now she's, the consistency is perfect. So for every jar that I that I get ready to use, I'm going to put just the... You only, and you only need to do it once. So once you loosen it up once, that's it. You're good. So now they came out with the body wash. Now, I told y'all last week I have the body wash that I, I buy the um, one liter re refill. And the refill was $48. I think this was $6, if, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> this was six whole dollars. Okay. Six whole dollars versus $48. That math ain't mad, right? Okay. So I bought five body washes and I got myself five of the body creams. Um, they also came out with a candle, y'all. <laughs> a candle. That candle popping. That candle is popping. The candle is a little small. I don't know how quickly it, you, you know it's gonna burn, but you know it's still nice. So I, I am going to go. I think I bought one candle. If I'm not mistaken, I bought one candle. So, ladies, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, definitely I'm encouraging you. Like Latoya had her little little person in there running. Them play some getting it. <laughs> You need to do the same thing. I'm telling you. Because this right here, right here, it's worth it. This is the best $6 you are going to spend. $6, $6, $12 whole dollars to smell like Sol de Janeiro where you would have been paying about $85 to smell the same way. Yeah. This right here, ladies, definitely worth you getting your nose on. Definitely worth, you know, one of the ladies I saw in her comments, she said that it was a 45-minute drive from her to um get to a Trader Joe's to buy it. And so me being who I am, I said to her, but it is so worth the 45 minutes. I said, just put you on some good music, sis, and you'll be there before you know it. Go and spend your $6, get your body cream, and save yourself some money. You put that money towards something else. 
my opinion. But, you know, I don't be trying to tell people how to spend their money. But for those of us who like to save some coinage so we can put it on something else, yes, $6 at Trader Joe's. You can either get the body wash, the body cream, the body scrub, or the candle. They have a complete line now. They don't have the other version of the Bum Bum, which is the green one. I don't particularly care for that one. Um, this the the yellow one was my favorite, but it's the best six dollars. In my opinion, best six dollars I've spent so far going into the summer. Okay, okay. Um, so that was it. Then the next housekeeping tool I wanted to talk about because I'm always telling y'all. Oh yes, please remember to thumbs up the video. Thank you, boo. Thumbs up the video. I am so appreciative of everyone that is in um the live right now. I, I appreciate you, and I ask that you um, don't forget to leave me a comment, thumbs up the video, and just let me know that you was here, because I'm not going to remember everybody that was here, but there may or may, may or may, may or may not be a surprise giveaway for somebody that's in the comments tonight, but I won't know you was in the comments unless you leave me, leave me a message, okay? Because you know, you know, I'm not going to remember who all was in here unless you leave me a comment. So there may or may not be a surprise of, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hook somebody up with a body cream, a body wash, <laughs> a body scrub, and a candle. Okay? Okay? <laughs> but you got to leave me a comment so I know that you was up in here. Okay? <laughs> you got to leave me a comment and let me know that you was in the live, that you're interested in it. Now, if you have to say in the comment that you're interested in the body, the bum bum cream, um, or you're interested in the giveaway, something along those lines. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume that you just let me know that you was there. Okay, so leave me a comment letting me know that you are interested in the body, the body, the giveaway, and then I will be giving away that two one. Maybe even two. Y'all never know with me because you know I, I I flip things around. <laughs> I flip things around. My girlfriend like me me. <laughs> um yeah, I flip things around. So you just never know. I might pick one. I might pick two. Heck, I might even pick three. You just never know how well this live goes. You just never know. You can't. You can't never know. I'm never gonna be that predictable chick. I'm never gonna be her. So don't even think about it. Don't think that when you think I'm coming to the left, I'm coming to the right or coming straight up the middle. I, yeah, I'm her. I'm her. Yeah, you just, yeah. I don't like predictability. I get bored too easily. Okay. Uh, so, uh, hey, day. How you doing, boo? How you doing? <laughs> okay. So the next thing, and then we're gonna get after I do this, then we're gonna get into um the uh the hall. So I'm always telling you all about Molecule One. This is the bottle, ladies. This okay. First of all, yes, <laughs> this bottle is not even a month old, and you see the dent, right? So when I tell y'all that I use this on everything, the dent is just not even thirty days old. They're not, because I I started spreading this. I want to say, I want to say the second week in um may i believe so yeah she's not even 30 days old yet so this is it it's called molecule one it's it's got the little round circles on it and it's gray and black so uh, this is what she looks like if you want to take a wait there it is if you want to take a screenshot of what the bottle looks like and um i got this bottle on joma shop now um Sometimes you can get this on sale, but for the most part, this bottle um, on Jumbo Shop, I can't remember what I paid for. Um, Pat, can you go on Jumbo Shop real quick for me and, and pull it up and tell us how, how much uh, Molecule O1 costs? She said, girl, <laughs> I don't feel well. You asking me to look up something. <laughs> I don't feel well. Please, Patrice. Could you go on Joma Shop for me and, and look up a Molecule One and let us know how much it is. If it's not listed there, then that means they sold out. And then you would have to go over to um, fragrancebuy.ca. 
they also have it. So it's molecular one, $80. Okay, thank you. It's usually um, between $75 and $105. It's, it's in that range. I also know that it's at Fragrance Net as well. So definitely shop around and see. Hey, Cassandra, darling. Um, it, it's, 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 um, oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, people problems. Oh, Lord. Um, it's, it's usually between 75 and $105. So this is it. Molecular one. And again, so how I do this and I do this with everything. When I say no. It's not, no, it has nothing else in it, um, Donna. It's it's not plus iris. It's unless you're saying that that's the one that you're using. No, it's just it's just called molecule, eccentric molecule 01. The only note in this is um ISO E Supra. It has nothing else in it. If you use any of the other ones that has an additional note, you're gonna change the scent of your fragrance. I don't know like if it would make your fragrance smell like whatever that extra note is, I don't know because I've never used it. This is the only one that I use from the line. And like I said, it's only um, molecule or eccentric molecule one that has um, ISO E Supra, no other note. So what I do is um, I, before I get in the shower every morning, I spray this on top of my clothing. So whatever I'm wearing, and I'm old school. Like I still wear like undershirts. <laughs> okay, so you know, they're, you know, the little undershirts, the little white undershirts. Um, I still wear those. So I spray the molecular one on that shirt first, and then I spray it on top of whatever my outer garment is. So I spray all of this on my clothing first and then I come back and I spray my fragrance of the day. Again, I'm doing this before I get in the shower. I spray my fragrance of the day on top of it. So what I did today was I sprayed Molecular One down on my, I had a dress on earlier. So I sprayed this on the dress first and then I came back and I sprayed this on the dress okay before i got in the shower then once i got out of the shower i put on my body cream my body my body oil then i put on my body cream then i sprayed molecular one on my skin as well as i put my clothes well, you know i put my dress on and and i sprayed this on my clothes again before walking out the door so i put this on twice and i promise you baby everywhere i went people were smelling that red temptation summer i mean i think i got three compliments after three i kind of stopped uh counting because i was out buying groceries and you know everything always happened to me in the supermarket <laughs> i can't explain it it always happens in the supermarket, probably because I go there the most. You would think that I know how to cook. You would think that I'd be in the kitchen throwing down. I don't. I don't. I'd be over there getting uh, <laughs> honeydew melon grapes, uh, nectarines, some plums, <laughs> and then I'm out. I go get the dog food out. So, yeah. But I spray that on my clothing, and then it lasts and projects, and it'll spray. You can smell it on your clothes, I promise you, until you throw it in the washing machine. Okay? So, anybody got any questions before we start on with the fragrances? Anybody? Uh, only the tester of what, Donna? Sorry. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Ninerholic. How do I display my collection? Um. Well, right now I'm in the process of redoing this room. So I have, I've outgrown the shelves that I had. So I have to get more shelves. So once I get the proper shelves in here, 
it's all going to be behind me. So I'll, the room is going to be set up a little bit different, but the fragrances will be displayed behind me. They'll all be um, in a display case. Kind of like um, if you follow Keetra, um, Fat Finds by Keetra, it's the, the same It's the same display case that Keetra has. That's the one that I have my eye on. So that's what my fragrances will be displayed in, is that uh, display case. But I, I, like I said, I'm in the process of changing this room around, so I still have to go over to the store and get it. Again, not the technical girl, not the girl that's going to lift a thing. Not a thing, okay? So when the husband comes back into town, we're going to go to Ikea, and that's when I'll get a whole bunch of things because you know you know i you know i got that honey to-do list already ready for him right poor man he probably be like <laughs> i think i want to stay on the road a little bit longer <laughs> okay all right uh, i don't remember that cheryl i don't i don't remember you telling me wow Wow, you got that. <laughs> you got that cuz I building something. No, I'm I'm awesome at ordering it. <laughs> I'm real good at ordering it, but building it, no, nah, baby. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can't build a thing. I'm too busy. I'm too much of a clutch. So, I would be the one that going to hit my face. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't what have you trying to install everything and put it together yeah no ma'am that's called husband duty so yes yes when the husband come back you know we'll be at the ikea and um i'll be the one with a big old smile on my face he'll be the husband that's like <laughs> yes yes because you know he'll have your honey, honey to do this buddy and okay so look, let's get into these fragrances y'all okay the first one i thought for sure that i was the first the last person on this planet Earth that didn't have this fragrance. The fragrance I'm talking about, and I discovered that my homegirl, see, this reason why we get along so well. Pat didn't have it either. Pat just got it, and that is Fenty. And I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. If I'm talking too fast, y'all, please tell me that I'm talking too fast, okay? Um, That's just nerves. That's just nerves I'm because I'm by my lonesome. I don't have nobody else to talk to, and I feel like I'm... <laughs> I really feel like I'm talking to myself over here in this piece. But I got Fenty. Who got Fenty, y'all? Anybody else got fancy other than Pat now? This smells incredible. It smells um like blueberries, like blueberries. So I will definitely be getting my sprays on with um Fenty, um, introducing her to um the fragrances, the other fragrances in my collection and seeing what I can pair well with this. So I'm looking forward to spraying this one. That's you said no, ma'am. I day you don't you don't have uh Fenty, you don't like her? She was a no ma'am to you. What what did no man mean? And I'm so sorry if y'all can hear my neighbors, okay? Cause you know I live in the city, and um, somebody having a party. Somebody having a party. Yes, today is Thursday and it's middle of the weekend. Yeah. Who has a party at seven thirty at night on the Thursday evening? I don't know. They that's how they do it over here in Philadelphia, child. Okay, so um, this one. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So this is the Sugar Leather by Ennui. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, a day. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you that one because I remember what sulfur eight used to smell like because my grandmother used to put it in our hair. <laughs> I don't get that because to me, this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. But listen, we all smell things differently. She said sulfur eight to her. Oh, okay, girl. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing because listen, when I ran, uh, when I ran Oriana down for filth, you know. Ooh. I don't get sulfate. 
I don't. I, I, I don't get sofa. It's gorgeous. It's. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold, please. I'm sorry. It went up my nose. I had like 10 sneezes and right back and back. I'm sorry. Ooh. It's not so for eight, but it did just go up my nostrils up, hit my brain. <laughs> no, this is it's sugary. It's sweet. It smells um it smells ambery to me. It smells ambery. Yeah. This one, this 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 is gorgeous. Sugar Leather by Onui Nomad. This is their latest uh, release. Um, I, I did send out a few decants to some of the ladies who I wanted to try it. And thus far, I did have not gotten any negative uh, comments, comments back. Like everyone who I sent it to them that responded, they, uh, they liked it. So Sugar Leather is a hit for me. Now, like I said, they have it listed as a fall, wet, fall, uh, winter vibe. For me, this is definitely going to be year-round. So this is Sugar Leather by Unweet Nomad. Okay, and I'm not going to keep y'all here all night long. I got to go faster because I, I, I'm taking up too much time. We, we, we 36 minutes in, and I, I'm only talking about one fragrance. I'm sorry. Okay. This fragrance y'all have had in my collection two years, and I've never told y'all about her. Y'all didn't even know she existed, and that is a track rag. My humble apologies. Uh, I think she was talking about Fenty. Oh, okay. Okay, Fenty. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have heard some negative comments about the Fenty one, but... Again, we all it's 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 different for different people. So I don't I understand. I'ma say that I understand. This is a trap rev by Louis Vuitton. I know y'all ladies have her because y'all y'all don't play about this one. I don't know what it is about this feminine fragrance, but y'all don't play about this one. So I have started spraying her and I said that I was going to put a dent in her for this summer because last summer she did not get touched, looked at, moved. I dusted her off and put her right back. <laughs> um, um, no, um, Jen, definitely. I'm not going to see. I'm not the girl for scent, telling people to blind buy anything. Um, I blind bought a fragrance last year. And the, the fragrance was very, very expensive. No, it was ridiculous expensive. And when I got it, I didn't care for it. And um, that taught me a very valuable lesson to start with the blind buys. So um, I'm not going to say blind buy. I'm definitely going to be an advocate for buying a sample and i will say that i sell decants as well as uh pat perfumes with pat she sells decants as well we both sell decants so if there's a fragrance that you see in my collection that you would like to try i we both sell sell eight mil decants of our fragrances um we'd be more than happy to um sell you send you out whatever decant that you're interested in purchasing but um yeah you can definitely get your nose on it if there's something in my collection that you're interested in trying so this one is good i'm not even gonna lie she is good good very very feminine there is no reason why i wasn't spraying this y'all other than niche snob problems that's it just just niche snob problems i was just I, I, i'm gonna just be honest hi shasta Okay, the next one moving right along is going to be a fragrance that I've had my eye on for a long time. Joma Shop just had that marvelous sale, and I partook of it, and I purchased Bond. This one is Queens. This one is beautiful. She's beautiful. This is 
This now, this one I'm definitely going to tell you. Um, I, I've never worn it in the um, spring summer, but I am going to spray it and see if I if it's something that I think I can wear spring summer. But this is a gorgeous fragrance. But and this is a loud projector that you definitely don't need. It does not need help in the projection department at all. But I am who I am, and I am going to spray Molecule One because that's just how we do things around these parts. Okay, we're moving right along. The next one is going to be this little baby right here. I did snatch the cellophane off of it. Secret Twist. Um, when I bought Cavort last year, I wasn't really feeling this one. And I last year I felt that it was, you know, very masculine. That's why you should always go back and try fragrances because our, our noses, they mature. They grow up. And fragrances that you might not have liked initially, you might find that you now like. And that's what happened with Secret Tris. Initially, I thought that this was masculine. But um, after trying it again, I said, you know, let me test it out and see if it's still pulling masculine on me. And it's not, y'all. She good, good. Secret Tris. Now, as you know, this um, when they created this, they created this in um, Cavort. And the, it's like the his and the hers. So the female, the way I read it, and this is not what the brand is saying, but the way I read it, the female is a Cavort and the male is a secret tryst. But quite frankly, it could be the other way around. You can <laughs> spray them both. I mean, to be honest. Now that it does not pull just only masculine on my skin, secret tryst is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um uh okay let's um secretress who's that secretress in the collection i i know um i'm not going on because i remember last year when this first came out that high tabitha everybody was losing their minds over these fragrances they couldn't even keep them in the in stock long enough everybody was buying them up next fragrance oh ladies the next fragrance is i told y'all about this fragrance last year um or a year and a half ago, I forget whenever she came out. I was in Vegas when this fragrance came out. And I told y'all that this fragrance was going to be the, the the pretty girl fragrance to have in your collection for that summer. Well, it didn't quite pop off last summer, but baby, she is getting sprayed down now. She is getting used and abused now. Who is it? Windflowers. People are now discovering windflowers. And as you see, the she's still in the cellophane. Because I still have a 10 mil decant. So it didn't make sense for me to take the cellophane off because I still have a 10 mil decant. But these, <laughs> this bottle is getting used now. She's getting a used and abused. And this is a very gorgeous scent. Now, in my opinion, this fragrance and a trap rev put me in the same, they put me in mind of each other. Not that they smell alike, but they're both very feminine fragrances. And a trap rev and wind flowers. Do you need them both? My opinion. I need them both. I need them both. Do you need them both? Only you can decide that. You know, if you don't have them both and you're on the fence about it, get yourself a decant of both of them, spray them side by side and see what you get from it. And see if you think that, you know, you need them both or if you only want one in your collection and that you're happy with that. Um but they're both gorgeous they're both very feminine both <laughs> i know see my girls my girls said you need them both i wholeheartedly agree i wholeheartedly agree now this one ladies so this one ladies okay come in come in close come in close listen this one right here right here right here this one they made geared towards the men folk. Oh, but baby, I don't like to say save your coins so you can get this fragrance because uh, I don't like saying that. But, ladies, when I tell you, save your coins so you can get this fragrance now. Dua does make a, a you know the inspired version of this. Now, is the is Dua's version good? Yes, it is. 
I'm not going to take anything away from Dua. Dua did the dang thing. I bought the Dua fragrance because this little lady right here, y'all, she comes for the pockets. She comes for the pockets. Um, okay. I, I, can, I can understand that. Um, this beauty right here, um, she comes for the pockets. But when I tell you it's worth every dollar, like this is money well spent, y'all. This is money well spent. What am I talking about? I am talking about Clive Christian um, Addictive Arts. And this is Hedonistic. Now, they make two. Her sister over here somewhere. This is the one that was geared towards men. So, this is Hedonistic. If I can get her out of the box. You would think, since I knew I was coming on, you would think that I didn't pull this stuff out, but I didn't. Okay. So, this is geared towards the men, but in my opinion, it is definitely unisex. Y'all. Hedonistic. Uh, there it is. Baby. Like I said, Dua did come up with their own version. And this, it's, it's, it's a little woody. It's a little earthy. It's, um, slightly spicy, but not really. Um, it's a little floral, but it's not sweet. In my opinion. Not, you know, the typical sweet that you would associate with a fragrance. It's slightly sweet, but not really, if that makes sense. This fragrance is incredible. When I tell you that you are going to smell unique, no one is going to smell like you. You are going to shut the party down when you come in strolling with hedonistic on your skin. Y'all remember when I told you when you certain fragrances that you spray, you walk different. You talk different. Baby, you get the flick in your hair. Oh, yes, you, you, you all of that. <laughs> you know, the college students you have, where you, that English major that you majored in, but every now and again, you would slide into that, you know, you know, that language that we like to, like, a little bit of slang here, a little bit of slang there. <laughs> With hedonistic, honey, you straighten your back up. You situate your hair properly, okay? When you walk, you are walking as if you are on the runway of a Milan uh, fashion show, okay? Can't nobody tell you anything when you're wearing Hedonistic by Clive Christian. Like I said, um, Dua did come up with a version of it. And their version, y'all, it is very good. I can't take nothing from Dua's version. It is very good. Now, I have had my bottle... From uh, Dua, I want to say eight months. It, it took uh, about eight months for it to macerate and get to smelling like this. Um, deep, sexy, sensual, provocative. It took about eight months for the fragrance to deepen and mature. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'm not going to be the one to tell you how much she costs, but if you want to know, girl, go ahead and hit that Google button and pull her up. Just go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and pull her up. Hit that, hit that Google button so you'll know how much she costs. But this is Hedonistic Addictive Arts by Clive Christian. Now, this next one, y'all, I don't know what I did with the top. I was... <laughs> That's what I do with the top. It's, it's on the floor somewhere amongst these boxes. But this one right here. Now, this is the one that's coming for your wallet. She coming for your throat. She coming for your 401k. Okay? She's coming for it all. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about it, Pat. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. But... That's money well spent. I promise you that's money well spent. Y'all, and I know somebody I know somebody in their house cussing right now. <laughs> I know somebody in there cussing right now. I feel it. I feel it. 
ain't mad. I'm not mad. But this one, now this one here, uh, jump up and kiss me. He didn't miss it. Yes, that is it. That is absolutely it. Um, this one right here that I'm about to tell y'all about, um, she don't need an introduction. Her cap here somewhere. This one. This beauty right here <laughs> is called Namur. This is Bodicea Namur. And when I tell you, now this one, like I said, is coming for your wallet, your husband's wallet, your 401k, and his 401k. Namur is coming for everybody's coins. Is it worth it? Absolutely, and then some. It's worth it. This fragrance is incredible. My boo thing, Nika introduced me to this fragrance a year and a half ago. I have been in a chokehold wanting this fragrance for a year and a half. This year, I said for my birthday, I was getting this fragrance. And that is exactly what I did. I treated myself. This this, this is my birthday treat. All of these fragrances, y'all see? My birthday treat. Um, okay. Um, uh, y'all keep in mind, if any comments that y'all make in the live that you want me to know about, you're going to have to put them in the comments, I think, in, in the regular comments. Because I'm not sure if I'll be able to access these comments once the live is over. If I'm wrong, Pat, tell me. You know, I don't know. Um. <laughs> you can come, Cheryl, because I am in a, I am looking for another housekeeper. You go. <laughs> but this is the number. This this is the number. I am going to go into in depth. Uh, letting y'all know about notes and everything once I bring this fragrance out. But right now, I'm just telling y'all what I got. This is the myrrh, y'all. When you spend this kind of coinage, and, and I bought this from directly from the brand, they gave me a body um, body cream, I believe it was. And the body cream they gave me was bravery. So they gave me the body cream, and they also gave me um, another long tester thing that... Um, if I have time, I'll I'll pop up and get it for y'all so y'all can see it. But this is number from Bodicea. Okay, the next one, I had a Bodicea moment. <laughs> I got my baby, y'all. I finally got my baby. I got my baby. I got my baby. This is Bodacious. Yeah. Again, this is, and uh, Nika inspired me. Nika made me buy this, y'all. Nika. I love you, Nika. But yes, is uh, my pockets was a little light because of you. I must smell incredible. But yeah, my pockets was a little light. But this is bodacious, okay? This, the, in my opinion, this is the only cherry fragrance you need. If you got bodacious in your collection, baby, you don't need no other one. You don't need no other one. Bodacious is that chick. She, she that girl. She She's good, good. She's everything bodacious. And I think it's sold out. I believe it's sold out. So, um, you can go back and check on the brand, but I think the last time I looked, it was sold out when I bought it. It was sold out. Now, this next one is called Bianco Latte. This one, and then it's by uh, Giardini di Toscano. Marcy kept talking about this fragrance, and I looked up the notes, and something tells me that this thing going to smell like food. Something tells me that this going to smell like pastries. I don't know for a fact. This, who, the, is there anyone in, in the live that has this that can tell me right now um, if, if it does smell like pastries? Anybody? And the funny thing is I have bought two of these by mistake. So I ended up having to send one back to Lucky Scent because I bought two. You know, when you're on a roll and you just hit and add the cart, check out, add the cart, check out, add the cart, check out, add the cart, check out. Yeah, one, I was in one of them days. So I was checking out 
<laughs> faster than my brain was computing what I was spending. And I ended up buying two of these. So I ended up sending the one back. So they just refunded me my money. But I think this one going to smell like food. Pat, again, um, this is Bianco Latte. Pat, if you don't mind, could you please go to Frank Grabs? Because she said, girl, I know you ain't asking me to work. Don't go there. <laughs> I could have just been on live with you with this foolishness. Could you go on, on Frank Grant's account and see if, if uh, <laughs> this going to smell like food? Something tell me it is. And if it smells like food, there's no point in me even opening it. Because I already know I'm not going to like it. I know I'm not going to spray it. Um, I don't want to smell like food. I don't want to smell like pastries. I don't... <sighs> okay. Really, Teresa? <laughs> More fruity than pastry. Ugh. But do you get a pastry note, period, at all? I, I know it's, I, I definitely know it's gourmand, but something tell me this. If it's anything on the lines of Sweetie Aoud by Roja, it don't make sense for me to even open this because I, I don't like Sweetie Aoud. That's too fruity. So this next one, y'all. This one is did not this one for y'all. And it is born fire from Simone Andrioli. Y'all, if you don't have you have not started purchasing your Simone Andrioli's, now is the time to get it. Um that I don't know. It's called Bianco Latte. Bianco Latte. It smells like caramel latte. Okay. Okay. I can do caramel latte. Okay. All right. So, Born From Fire. This one. I get amber from this. Again, take that with a grain of salt, girl. Take it with a grain of salt because I'm congested as all get out. And I could be, I could be sitting there talking about, I get Amber and it could be Galbana, Galbana. <laughs> I don't know. I'm congested. Um, Angel, yes, definitely. Um, definitely want to get yourself some samples to test them out. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Leisure in Paradise, Sunplosion, Pacific Park. Don't ask me permission and born from fire. Those are my favorites. Those are full bottle worthy fragrances, in my opinion. Definitely worth you having in your collection. Born from fire is fire. It's fire. And now their newest one that's out is called Vice Bomb. That's over there somewhere. Uh, that's going to be in the next uh, part of this epic haul. But Born From Fire smells incredible. Now, this next fragrance. Ugh. Again. Y'all can see I really <laughs> was not prepared to be on by myself. Because I had all my fragrances set and ready to go to talk about what we were supposed to be talking about tonight. But I, So, I'm a little discombobulated. But... Uh, who... Latanya, you still uh, picking on Blanche back? <laughs> oh, Angel, so you like those? Yes, girl. Those things, those Simones are they fire. They are fire. They fire all the way. Um, yeah, y'all can have that Don Rosa. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, y'all, y'all can have that Don Rosa. I smelled her a year and a half ago. She was a no for me. She was a no for me. Um, this one, y'all, was a blind buy. And I don't even remember when I bought this one. I just know that I bought it based off of a review from Instagram. One of the girls said that it was it smelled good. And she said it it was a it gave her a cozy vibe. So I don't necessarily wear yours off the bed. Um, uh, this is Fatal Charm by 
Jurgel. I don't know what this smells like. I have no idea. All I know is that I had liked how she explained it. I am so looking forward to cracking all of these open and telling y'all what they smell like. But this one is Fatal Charm. And, you know, for the most part, Jurgel can't do no wrong for me. Um, yeah. Is there anybody in this lab that uh, likes Don Rosa? I don't want to, you know, come for her because, I mean, you know, it's not for everybody. But Don Rosa, that just didn't work for me at all. Now, this next one. Y'all, how many fragrances have we done did so far? I won't keep y'all too long. Okay, we've been on this for an hour. Okay. This next one. <laughs> When I sprayed this one, boy, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was like, full body, full bottle worthy. <laughs> I know the time, right? This one I said is full bottle worthy. This one is by Mind Games, and this one is Grandmaster. Grandmaster is a masterpiece. When I tell you, this one smells real good. Yes, this smells real good. This the dent that I have and the decant that um I had. So what I okay, so y'all, I have nine of the uh mind game fragrances, right? I think I have maybe seven or eight 15 mil decants. So what I would like to do is give those decants to a subscriber and um i don't know i gotta think about how i want y'all to qualify for it but it is going to be a giveaway I'm, I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to for, for the eight that i have in a 15 mil size i'm going to fill those up put them back you know to full and it's going to be a, a prize so i'm going to do that at the end of june so y'all just remind me, and that's it's gonna be something I'm gonna do on the Fragrance Angels channel. It's not gonna be something that I'm gonna do, do on my channel. It's gonna be on the Fragrance Angels channel. So with you know all of the girls. So <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. Can you cook? Because if you can if you can cook me some curry chicken, some brown stew chicken, some ackee and saltfish. Then sis, we we could talk. We could talk. Cause uh, you know, I'm 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 easy to get along with. You just all you gotta do is feed me. Aki and saltfish. I love Aki and saltfish. Ooh, I love it. <sighs> yes, I need somebody to teach me how to make some Aki and saltfish deck nabbit. I got an iPhone. I'ma need who who on this live is willing to call me on my phone and walk me through how to make Acne and saltfish. Anybody? Anybody? I'm just asking. Because I love acne and saltfish. And I don't know how to make it. I don't know how to make it. Um, It, it, it always comes out um, just a whole mess. Just a whole mess. <laughs> okay, Cheryl. It is a day. It is. I, listen. I love Jamaican food. I wish I knew how to cook it. I don't. Um, my only problem is, is that, um, hi, Cynthia, it's usually too spicy for me. So when I try to buy it at these restaurants, it's too spicy. I, I Me and Scotch Bonnet, no, I'd be in the emergency room. So, yes, I need to learn how to make it. Because when my big daddy come home, I want to be able to cook for him. So there's that. Next fragrance, y'all, is none other than Patalia. And has anybody smelled this? Anybody? Because Patalia is good, 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 good. And um, uh, Sharita gave us a combo with this Patalia that, baby, it set my world on for y'all. Patalia with br540 the original baby you mix them two together and honey child let me tell you they're gonna smell you on the moon okay they're gonna smell you on the moon if you mix patalia and br540 
they smell incredible together. I'm sorry. Well, first of all, this one smells incredible by herself. You mix her with BR540 and girl, you got yourself a bomb of a fragrance. The other one that I like from, I mean, is um, Amber Room. Amber Room is good. And Blue Sapphire is good. I have not smelled Blue Heart yet. Um, and there's another one. I forget. I've not smelled Blue Heart yet. When I went to the store, I was smelling so many other things that I can't remember uh, if I liked it or not. I'm, I'm sure I probably did because I don't have any negative memories of it. But this next beauty is the snake. <laughs> Why did I do this? I'm having a moment, y'all. Listen, y'all don't, Pat, Nika, y'all don't leave me by myself again, okay? Because I'm just like the little child. You know, you know, some kids you just can't leave by themselves. They get into all kind of mischief. That would be me. Don't leave me again by myself, please. Oh, this God of fire. When you leave me by myself, I get into trouble and I start doing stuff that I ain't got no business doing. Like, why do that? <laughs> oh, mercy. I, I'm, yeah, I have moments. I have moments. I have moments. Um, which, oh, oh, y'all, this one. This one. This one. Wait, my allergy is getting the best of me. Wait, hold, please. I'm sorry. Sorry, you know, my allergies, I, when I start feeling like I'm a little too nasally for y'all, it, it sounds disgusting, I have to get that out, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for blacking out on y'all, coming back in and out, in and out, but I know you don't want to hear all that nasally stuff, I'm sorry. Okay, moving along, I digress, let's talk about my baby, so this is the fragrance, y'all, um, Vitamin Carnet is, uh, it, it was okay, it was okay, it, it was not anything that made me want to buy it. Yeah. It wasn't anything that made me want to buy it. Okay, so this one, y'all. This fragrance, ladies, let me tell you, if you have not smelled this fragrance, it is worth every single dollar. I'm not even going to prolong it and put y'all in suspense. Queer Beluga by Guerlain. This is a gourmand bomb. This fragrance right here, oh my gosh. This fragrance, all I kept talking about was I needed to get Queer Beluga. I need to get Queer Beluga. I need to get... So my Dubai guy had a special on this. And when I tell you, I knew that it didn't make sense for me to get the small one because I love this fragrance just that much. I said, I need to get the big one. Let me just get the big one and be done with it. This fragrance is absolutely incredible. Who has smelled this? Who has not smelled this? Who would like to smell this? Because I love y'all, because my love runs deep, I'm willing to part with decans. I am. I'm willing to part with decans. Again, you'll have to send me a D you'll have to send me a DM to my Instagram letting me know that you would like to get your nose on Queer Beluga by Gerlon. That's all you gotta do. Let me know that you want to try Queer Beluga. Send me your address. I'll do I'll take it from there. This fragrance, I'm gonna tell you now. When you get it, you're going to want a bottle of it. You are going to want a bottle of it. And the bottle, um, it's worth it. It's worth it. That's all I'm going to say. This one is like, this size is like, I believe, five something. But I got mine from my Dubai guy. And I paid three something. So, 
um, remember when I told y'all the niche galleries over in Dubai, the guy that I bought the baby cat from? Him. Definitely, you definitely want to follow him. When I tell you he has good deals, he has tester bottles, he has good prices, and his fragrances are, are, are authentic. Definitely, you want to give that a try. And when I, like I told y'all, he ships FedEx. So these fragrances, you're not waiting all day to get your fragrance. Like I think to, he had a sale on Ani. I need, I only had a 50 mil of Ani. I just bought the 100 mil bottle of Ani. And I want to think, I, I think I was like three something, I think. I don't remember how much it was originally. I know it was more than what I paid. Um, but he had a sale on the the Ani and I got the 100 mil bottle. So you definitely want to uh, give Niche Gallery a shout out, see what he has, follow them on, on the WAS app, see what fragrance he's highlighting that day. Get yourself some deals, honey. That's all I'm going to say. Get yourself some deals because it's worth it. Now this one is Nika Boothane. This Nika Boothane. And y'all, this ginger bomb right here is worth every every dollar spent. I got this on the um, Joma shop when they just had the sale for Bond. They had the Bond sale. Um, it's You have to download WhatsApp on your phone. So once you have the WhatsApp on your phone, you um, follow the business uh, Niche Gallery LLC. And then you can see um what it is that he's offering that day and they uh, again because it's dubai i think they're like seven hours ahead of us so when he responds back to you it'll probably be like four o'clock in the morning you know our time but that's again because they are like seven hours and ahead of us so you definitely want to uh reach out it's worth every it's, it's worth it and do he said that he had, y'all, he had pineapple by Dose and Gabbana. He had pineapple and he sold out. So I put my name on the list to get a backup bottle of um, the uh, Dolce and Gabbana, the pineapple. Um, but he did have it. And it is, if, if anybody is traveling uh, through Dubai, it is in the Dubai airport right now. You can buy it if you're traveling or you know somebody that's traveling through the Dubai airport have them pick you up a bottle because they do have it at the Dubai airport. I looked. And the only way you can buy it is you have to show them that you have a ticket that you're going to be traveling through their airport. So this, this next fragrance, y'all, she making her rounds. She making her rounds. She making her rounds. This one is the Chronic Extreme. Beautiful fragrance. Long lasting projector, but of course, you know, I'm going to spray Molecule 01 on top. The chronic is going to be chronicing this summer, y'all. I And I also have uh, Mula Mula around here somewhere. I only have the 15 mil of the Mula Mula because she was sold out of the uh, full size bottle. So I'm waiting for the um, a bottle to come in for Mula Mula so that I can get Mula Mula Extreme. Because if I don't do nothing else, girl, I'm going to do Extreme. <laughs> I won't do it straight. Now, uh, oh, here she is. Here, here's her sister. This is Addictive Arts Ecstatic. This is the other Clive Christian. This is the one that's geared towards females. Um, like I told you earlier, um, on their website, they say that it's, you know, marketed towards men. But in my opinion, it's unisex. In my opinion, it's straight up unisex. Um, one thing about Clive Christian is they they have a lot of Schieffer fragrances. So you really got to be prepared for the smell. They're very unique. Um, some of them are hard to take. So you really got to, you got to have a real niche nose to get, to appreciate some of the Clive Christians. But for me, this one is not so hard to uh, fall in love with. I fell in love with this um, the first time I smelled it. But I just prefer hedonistic over this one but this one is good too um this is the one that was on joma shop for 249 these bottles are at, are 550 at neiman marcus but you can you can get a deal you don't have to pay 550 well i did for hedonistic because i couldn't find it on sale anywhere but 
Addictive Arts. Yeah, this is two fifty. You can definitely find this one um, for for a good price. Well, I think two fifty is you know reasonably priced. I I don't I don't think that's you know outside of you know a budget of not being able to you know appreciate it. Now this one, y'all, blue turquoise. I have been wanting this fragrance for years, for years, for years, for years. Finally got my hands on it. When I tell you, I was so happy. Uh, Patty, I didn't pull up the notes for anything. For not not nary one of these. Um, if you were talking to me, I'm sorry. If you were talking to Pat, then I'm gonna get out y'all. I'm gonna get out y'all conversation. <laughs> But I did not pull up the notes for any of the fragrances. I will do that when I do a detailed review of the fragrances. But Blue Turquoise right here. Now, I've heard mixed, mixed reviews about this. I've heard people talk about it in a good way. And I've heard people talk about her in a bad way. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I can't wait to spray this one. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to spraying that one. And getting my entire spray being on. Now this one, y'all, Vanius by Whittier, baby, this one right here smells incredible. This is their newest release, and this fragrance, uh, I think I, I put her in, um, in one of, uh, I talked about her not, not too long ago with the uh, Fragrance Angels channel where I, I, I brought up Banyas. This is one of, one of my fragrance choices. She's good, good, y'all. She is good, good. She smells incredible. She's very long-lasting. The other Whittian that I have is uh, Lewa, and I also have um, Hilly. Hilly. Hilly wasn't really a love for me. Um, I grew to like her. Um but this one, Banius, this was love at first sniff. This one was love at first sniff a ripper. Now, this one, y'all, my baby that came today. This here, huffle, 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 puff. Now, huffle, puff. I'm, I'm tripping. Here, now, huffle, puff. This, this Griffin door. This, yeah. This is Gryffindor. I'm looking forward to cracking this one open, y'all, and going over the notes and telling y'all what she smells like. And if it was a yay, I'm happy or all darn. How's the she She got me good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, who, Hold up. Wait a minute. You talking about me? <laughs> you talking about me? Um, this is Gryffindor. This just arrived today, and of course, I already had Huffle, Hufflepuff. So now I have two Hufflepuff, and I got Gryffindor. And then the last fragrance we're gonna talk about today, y'all, is one that I have been wanting and wanting and wanting and wanting, and that is Draco. I got, I finally got Draco. Yes, I had wanted you to get um Hufflepuff. I got Hufflepuff. Hold on. She right here. Pardon my animal. It's Hufflepuff. I just got two of them. That's all. Two. So I got Hufflepuff. But I got um, Gryffindor today as well. And then Draco. I got Draco in. I heard that this is um, a fruity floral. I've never... Um, I, I, got a, I got a sample of this. I got a sample of this and I knew that I was going to need this in my collection for this summer. This, y'all, is good, good. Draco, she's good, good. She's going to go really well in the summer months. I love wearing maxi dresses in the summer. And um, who y'all talking about? Who y'all talking about? Um, I love wearing maxi dresses in the summertime. And this is going to pair very well with um, 
a lot of the maxi dresses in my collection. So that's Draco by Tiziana Terenzi. So that's the last one we're going to talk about today because I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of talking. Um, Yes. My jaws is hurting. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. Um, so we're going to stop here. I don't know how many fragrances I've told y'all about. Um, but what I will do is I will um, update the description box of everything that I have um, told y'all about tonight. Y'all talk about me? Wait a minute. <laughs> Nigga said it's a warehouse. Huh? See, see, you, see this ain't fair. This is how you miss the... <laughs> you miss the when... You're talking because you're the only one talking. You miss stuff. <laughs> uh, nigga, you, 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 you made me a speed bump in the road. You say this is a warehouse? Girl. Um, this, this, okay, hold on. I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to take a picture. So y'all can really see. What's left? Can y'all see that? So that's that's the rest of what's left that I gotta haul and tell y'all about. All of this stuff that's oh, all of this stuff that's on the floor is new. And um yeah. So, that is all that we will be talking about for this evening. Does anyone have any questions? Um, anybody, uh, any, anybody got any more digs for me? Because I feel, I feel some claws in my back right about now. <laughs> I feel some claws in my back. <laughs> um, I have... I have enjoyed y'all keeping me company. I appreciate y'all keeping me company. Um, I don't know why I had such apprehension on uh, coming on here being by myself. Um, I definitely don't like it. And I would prefer to not ever do it again. <laughs> but um, in, in the event that I do have to do it again, um, I, I would like to have more than four hours notice to know that I will be the only one on the live. And then that way, you know, because got, I got to get my mind right. I can get my mind together knowing that I'm going to be the only one there. And um, that way I could have had, yeah, I could have been a little bit better prepared for y'all. Right now I feel like I was all over the place and that I was gabbing about stuff longer than I needed to be gabbing about stuff. Like now, like I really should be praying so I can let y'all go. But I've only had you on for a minute, an hour and 22 minutes. So I guess that's not too bad, right? <laughs> that's not too bad. But um, yes. So, ladies, I thank you so, so very much for tuning in, keeping me company, um, throwing me under the bus, but still enjoying the haul. I will at least, I hope you enjoyed this little um, haul slash mini series. Says I'm really not sure what it was because there's still a whole lot more that I got to go through. Um, it's going to take me a minute to get through um, that pile that y'all saw. But for right now, I'm just tired of talking. Like, I want to go somewhere and sit down and, and catch up on uh, uh, my Game of Thrones, y'all. I'm a Game of Thrones chick. Now, I done seen the show three times. But, but I, I love watching the reruns. So, I'm going to go now and uh, go eat my steak and uh, sweet potato and, and and veg out on some Game of Thrones. That That's my plans for the evening. So, um. If if nobody else, hi Diamond Life, I'm sorry, and, and Birdie, and um, anybody that I did not get a chance to say hi to, y'all, please remember to thumbs up the video um, so that I can get out of the YouTube algorithm jail. And um, please don't forget to leave me a comment because the comments does show uh, YouTube that um, we are I, I engage with y'all. So please definitely leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to spending sunday with all of the ladies hopefully uh, minus cassandra and hopefully we'll be back together again and um that pat will be feeling better so that we can all 
have some more laughs and and talk about more fragrances so without further ado i'm going to close this out in prayer and then i'm going to scurry on because my son wants to go outside uh while it's still a little bit light so yes so if all hearts and minds are clear i will pray us out thank you lord thank you jesus dear heavenly father we come before you to say thank you father god we thank you for allowing us to see yet one more day god Father God, we thank you for traveling mercies that you have given us, how you have allowed us to be able to move back and forth freely without having any problems. God, we thank you that you allow Cassandra to make it to her destination and that all is well. Father, please watch over her while she's away with the girls. Help her to have a good time. Help them to have a good time with each other. Help them to have nothing but laughs and make fond memories, God, and that when they each return to their, their separate homes, that they find that all is still well and that everything is uh, is, is just as well as when before, before they left, God. Heavenly Father, we pray and ask that you would touch whomever might be sick in their body right now, God. Father God, we pray and ask that you would touch Jennifer as she's recovering from this stroke. If there's anyone else that has an ailment in their bodies, God, I pray and ask that you would touch their body. Heal like only you can because we know that you are a healer, God. If you can't heal it, it can't be healed, God. And we just, I know that you are able. So whatever the situation is that whomever is dealing with it, Father God, I pray that you will get the glory out of that situation, that you will be glorified, and that they, when you deliver them, that they will come back and say, thank you, but not be like some that don't even acknowledge you for what you have done, God, but that they will come back and say, thank you, Lord, for touching that situation, be it my health, be it my marriage, be it my job, be it my children, God, whatever the situation is, that they come back and say, thank you that they give you the glory and the honor because it is not us none of this is by our will by our sheer greatness because ain't none of us great god but it is through you the holy spirit that operates in and through us that allows us to be examples to your people god heavenly father we just pray and ask that you would continue to keep us uplifted and keep us elevated as we go about our daily activities god and we want to be so careful as to give you the glory, honor, and the praise that we put you first in all that we say and do and that we acknowledge you for your goodness, God. And we call it done. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say it's done. In Jesus' name, we pray and we seal it by the blood of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. Well, ladies, it's nice to see that there's still quite a few of y'all still here. I appreciate it. I'm grateful for all of the people that stay around for the prayer because you just never know where people are. Like some people might not even want to be a part of that. And I can appreciate the people who stick around for the prayer. So to God be the glory in all that we say and do. And ladies, I have had so much fun with y'all tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting up with my shenanigans <laughs> and my, me being all over the place and acting like a newbie to this thing. Thank you. And God willing, I will see y'all on Sunday. Okay? Until we meet again, y'all stay safe. Continue to smell fragrances. And continue to have fun and keep each other uplifted in prayer. Bye, y'all. Bye, ladies. <laughs>